Assalamu alaikum everyone. Oh my gosh. I saw this interesting video, interesting conversation, I must say. I hope you stay till the end and let's, let's pick one or two advice from this video because that's all we do here to talk about issues that at least we will pick one thing out of it as an advice for ourselves to improve our life. It's a conversation between Ali Dawa and one Muslim lady. That's the part that surprises me, guys. Islam, you believe that the woman has has or should have equal rights as you? No, 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 the money of the husband belongs to the woman. So that's an inequality, because what that means is the following. For example, and a man... Okay, check this out. If it was equality, look what Islam, how Islam honors a woman. A man... The first point, there is a misconception or a misunderstanding of what she herself is saying. If you are saying the hadith is saying, whatever a man has, it belongs to the woman as well. Then this is in favor of us. It doesn't mean that there is equality. This is rather inequality because we are cheating the men, right? <laughs> Has to pay for the rent, the shopping, the gas, the electric gas, uh, you know, electric what gas bills. What hadith is that? No, no, that's not hadith. I'm saying a man is a maintainer and protector, mm -hmm. so he has to provide the house. Yeah. He has to do the shopping, cancel tax, all of this kind of stuff. Okay, he has to pay. If it was equality, it has to be 50-50. We don't believe in 50-50. But you discussed that with us, pals. No, and that's you're not, not, no, you're not understanding. If a man comes to you, a Muslim man, and says you have to give 50% of the shopping and rent, you say to him, bye-bye. You're not a man, you're a boy. Who says that? Why are you There's a lot of men who say that. Look, I'm... Does that mean you are not interested in what Allah is presenting to you? Allah has made the man the head of the family. That everything is the responsibility of the man to do it. A whole lot in Surah Tal Misa. But if you are saying that what Hadith is that, it means you don't even believe it, what he is saying, or at the same time, you don't you don't believe such a thing exists. You are misunderstanding your own self. What you are saying is in favor of us, but you want to do 50-50, you want to be the boss like the man. This feminism high idea, guys. We should think twice when doing things like this. That's what surprised me. You are a Muslim. If a non-Muslim don't understand this concept and the person is using it against us, then it's explained to the person, no, we don't abuse our women, but rather all the benefits goes to the women. You have money. It belongs to her. She can own property, houses, everything. When you say equal, equal in terms of act of worship, it's the same standard we have rich men. The same reward we all get when we perform any good deed, any act of worship. Allah is not being injustice or unfair to us. And at the same time, he is saying, I mean, what do we want Allah to do for us again? We men. It's difficult to understand we men. Don't we need a change. If, a man, if a man comes to you, sister, I'm telling you, you're young, and wants to marry you and says you have to pay half the rent and shopping you say to that man you know what hijab says you're a boy you say to him you're a boy no, yalla i want need a man i wouldn't say that that's from your point of view but so you'll go 50 50. no you know this is look 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 at this check this out Wallahi you don't have to i don't have to but i don't mind it okay good no if you want to Shame. What shame? No, no, one second. No, 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 no. no. Who said it's shame for you to give if you don't give 50 50? Why do you want to take your own right from your own hands? If you say you are the one saying it, it means you don't want that benefit Allah is giving to you. You want to do 50 50. Why do you want to do 50 50? Because I have shame. Astaghfirullah, sister. Are you saying all the other. I mean, women who have been taken care of by their husbands, they have no shame. Is that what you're saying? Or, is, or are you saying that literally that verse or that rule came to, to remove the shame we have as women? That's not the point. If you have the means you want to help your husband, 
the reward is there for you but don't make it as if it's your responsibility it's my right to do it it's not your responsibility says allah did not give you that responsibility he gave it to the man because he knows as he created us he knows us that internally men can do it without complaining but we remain the moment we do one two three things for our husbands we start complaining I've been doing this. I've been paying the rent. I've been... Come on. All these incidents happen day in and day out. We don't have that spirit in us. The same way there are some things in us, at least when it comes to mercy towards kiss or motherly love, sometimes it's stronger, mostly stronger than that of the men. Because Allah knows that is for us. That's why he made us to be that way. He made the men to be the protectors, the providers, the caretakers. That is in them. Why do you want to take that responsibility for yourself and be like, no, I have shame. I want to do 50-50. Oh my God. Sister, we follow Islam, not your subjective morals. Oh my God. I like this statement. I love this statement. It's like everything is her emotional, her feeling, what she experienced from the house. Some men, please, take your responsibility into your own hands. So you allow your wife to do 50-50 and now your daughter wants to do 50-50 and feel like the rule set by Allah is shameful. Astaghfirullah. In the answer, that's what she is. Because if she say, I have shame, then it means the rule set by Allah is so shameful to us. Is that? <laughs> Come on. May Allah give us understanding or understanding. May Allah give it to us. Your sister! Maintainers and protectors. They maintain sister. and protect the woman. They care for them. They maintain means you pay for shopping. You pay for rent. You don't That's pay a penny. La ilaha illallah. We're giving the extra rights. She's saying I don't want it. Islam is seen. My dear so sister, if you want it. you see, so this is a typical example to tell others. We should be careful about those we follow, the things we listen. You see how the feminism has, I mean, entered her from head to toe. She don't even want to understand the good part of the whole situation. You, you feel like I want to help. Fine, you can do it. But don't make it look like those doing it are shameful. Those doing it, they don't know what they are doing. You want to be the boss. I, I want a man I can control. Come on. Whose son? <laughs> I don't know. Whose son? Men with that ego they have inside them. You want to pay do 50-50 so that, is that even the mentality? So that you can also be the boss and control your husband. Come on, we shouldn't do this. We shouldn't do this. Seriously, it gives me a mixed feeling. It's such an interesting video, but I can't obviously talk about everything. So guys, you can check up on his channel and watch the whole interesting story. May Allah give us understanding and may Allah guide us all. Assalamu alaikum.